Hello, adventurers, and welcome to a Q&A, or some questions and answers. I'm Gray, and that's about all you know about me, because I haven't talked much about myself on this channel so far. To be fair, it's, it's a pretty new channel, and I've only been here for about two weeks or so, but I feel like it's a good idea to let you guys at least know a little bit about who I am, and what I'm doing, and what I enjoy, and all that type of stuff ahead of time, and if you have any more questions, you can post it in the comments or ask me any time in any video and I'll save them up for another video kind of like this one. For now I'm on a website called tagquestions.net and this article is called 371 random get to know me tag questions by editor. My favorite guy who writes articles and named editor. What a nice guy. Anyway, I'm going to go through some of these questions, the ones that are most interesting in my opinion and not too revealing about myself, because I don't want to be doxxed or anything like that, you know. I'm not too afraid of that stuff since I'm so small, but it's still better to be safe than sorry. So I'll start off with these. this first little question. What is your full name? Well, I told you I was Grey, so my full name is Greytail. But my real name is Jonathan. <laughs> uh, it's J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N, Jonathan. Spell it right, it's not J-O-H-N. I'm not going to give my last name though, because that's private and you could probably figure out who I was if I gave that, so I'm probably not going to, or at least I'm going to try to avoid it. I might reveal it sometime in some random video by accident, but hey, I can't control everything. What does my name mean? Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. I know it has meanings, and I, but I haven't memorized them. Are you named after anyone? Uh, my father, yeah. He's named John, J-O-N. He's a really great guy. Like, my father's from... The, from Czechoslovakia, I'll go ahead and say that, or Czech Republic, and he he's had a really interesting life, and he's been such a role model for me, so I'm glad he's my father, and I'm sort of named after him, kind of? I believe I am. Does your name make any interesting anagrams? This is a dumb question. I'm going to keep moving on. Where am I from? Uh, I will say I was born in America. I am American by blood. Nationally, I've lived here my entire life. I haven't lived in the state I live in my entire life, which I won't say which one it is. I have moved before, but every time I've moved, I've been so young that I basically don't remember the last place I was at. Like, I vaguely remember the last house we were at, but we've been at the current one here where I am for so long. Where I, and this is where I did elementary school, primary school, even kindergarten, high school, and even college. Like, they're all around the same area where I've grown up in, so... Yeah, I'm basically, for all intents and purposes, I grew up and grew up around here where I am. I'll go ahead and say it's a little, it's, it's southern U.S. It's sort of like a southern area. So I'm not, I, I ain't a Yankee. I'm, I'm a southerner. Therefore, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> okay. What are your best characteristics? Eh, I don't know. I would say that I'm the most humble person I know. No one is more humble than I am, okay? Also, I'm perfect. <laughs> uh, in all honesty, this is a hard question to answer without sounding like pretentious or anything like that. I would say that I am organized. I'm good at setting goals for myself and working towards them. I'm kind to others. At least I try to be as kind to others as I can. And I'm willing to make new friends and new connections and stuff like that. So what are your favorite things about you? That's the same thing. Which of your parents are you closest to? Uh, both of them, really. I relate more to my dad, but my mom is more of like a care, like more of a, I say caretaker, but she does way more in terms of school and being with me and stuff like that. My dad is more like the fun person who plays games with me and everything. So, it's, so I think it's like a half and half mix of both and it, it's a really good mix. I'm really fortunate to have a good family. Okay, anything about grandparents I can't really answer because I can go ahead and talk about this now. My mom is from Thailand. And that's halfway across the world. No, completely across the world. And basically all my grandparents live there or in Europe, somewhere in Europe because my dad's from there. So the only family I have in America is I, my mom, my dad, and my brother, who is also a huge inspiration to me in many ways. Like I don't think he even knows because he constantly feels like I'm one-upping him and stuff like that. I don't think so. I, like, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for him and all that he's done for me and all that he's inspired me with and his motivation to keep going is my motivation to keep going, you know? So, let's see. What is my best physical feature? The birthmark on my butt. 
What is your biggest accomplishment? Okay, so previously I don't know what I exactly I'd put the answer. Um, one of the biggest accomplishments I remember from a long time ago is whenever I was in elementary school, I did a math competition. It was a national math competition, and it had all sorts of like math questions that many of them were things that we hadn't learned in school. Like they're really hard math questions for an elementary school student. And I did the best in our entire school and ranked number five in the entire country in that math competition. And I was so proud of myself. I have like a big trophy at home for it. I, it's, it's nothing like super huge or anything like that, but I mean, fifth in the country in elementary school, that was really good. And also I got the top student in elementary school. I got a little, little award for that, for being the top student. Uh, but right now my biggest ac accomplishment would be getting into pharmacy school two years before most people get into pharmacy school. You see, I'm pursuing a pharmacy degree and I'll talk about this right now. I, I'm, I'm actually 19 years old and I'm pursuing a pharmacy degree. I've always wanted to go into healthcare. That's sort of what I want to do. I want to help people. I want to improve and extend the lifespan of people. That's kind of what I want to pursue in pharmacy. And originally I wanted to be a pediatrician because I wanted to help babies. But eventually I figured that I like working in a lab. I like coming up with new medicines. I feel like I can do that type of thing, you know? And pharmacy seemed like a good thing to pursue for creating that type of medicine. And after that, I found out that the school I'm at has an early pharmacy program that lets you get in two years early if you get the prerequisites done, if you have high grades, if you're doing really well. You still have to apply like a regular pharmacy school student. But I did a lot of volunteering. I did some job shadowing. I did lots of different things. I've worked in a medical library. And because of all that, I was able to get into pharmacy school two years before most people. So I'll graduate from it within the next four years, so six years total of college instead of the eight years that most people would have to go through, which is a good saving of time and money. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, what is your biggest fear? Uh, this one is, uh, it's not nothing like height, nothing like spiders, anything like that. This one is pretty clear for me. My biggest fear is losing. And I know that sounds very vague, but just in general, I, my biggest fear is just being a loser, if you know what I mean. For example, whenever I like do something and I take it seriously and things like that, and some stupid luck-based thing happens and then I lose and stuff like that, it makes me more upset than it should most people because I feel like I worked so hard for it, I tried my best, I have the skills and talent necessary, but somehow I still lose. And this is just something like a game. But when it comes to like, this this mentality sort of transfers on to real life too. Where if I'm in any real life competition or heck, if I'm hunting for a job or if I'm trying to find a girlfriend if I want to do something like that, which I'm not right now, but maybe in the future. I feel like if I lost someone like a girlfriend who dumps me or if I lose my job due to something stupid like the economy going down and stuff like that, that would like really influence my mind and really hurt me because I would feel like an absolute loser. I hate being a loser, that's the, that's like the worst feeling I could possibly have. More than like, more than anything else, being a, being a loser is the worst. And keep in mind, I mean loser in more than one way too. I mean, I don't want to lose anything either. As in, I don't want to lose people who are close to me. I don't, I hate it whenever friends get hurt or family gets hurt or family or someone close to me dies or decides to not be my friend anymore due to some conflict and stuff like that like that kills me inside so both losing others and losing to myself that's my biggest fear what is your biggest regret right now i don't really have one okay my biggest regret i guess would be losing some of my friends in high school and stuff like that due to stupid arguments and stupid reasons it, mostly involving politics and stuff because I don't talk about politics much and I'm still not going to mention politics really But I do have certain beliefs that are more, like I'm more of a centrist myself I will go ahead and mention that but some of my friends who used some of the people who used to be my friends were far in one direction or far in the other direction and since I didn't agree with their views and All that type of stuff. They, they like we had too many arguments and they just cut me off and stuff like that and it was uh, I don't really regret it too much because I feel like it if your beliefs are that strong, it wouldn't have worked out anyway, but they were good friends for the time I had them, so it's kind of sad to see that happen. Also, some friends moved away and stuff like that, but I can't really control that. What is my eye color? 
You tell me. It's a dark brown. <laughs> what inspires you? My family and my friends, of course. What is the most important thing in your life? My family and my friends. Okay, here are some more lighthearted questions. Favorite actor? I'm not sure. I don't watch many movies. But based off of my inspiration, which is my dad and his favorite actor, I'm going to have to say John Wayne. And based on the movies I've seen of him, the cowboy movies, I would have to agree with that. Favorite actress? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't watch nearly enough movies. I, I can't even come up with one actress off the top of my head, really. Uh, favorite musician? I'm not sure either. Here, I'm not a pop culture guy. I'm an anime guy, okay? I don't spend my time watching movies and TV shows and listening to pop music. I spend my time watching anime and playing video games. So if it asks me that type of stuff, I'll go into that. My favorite color? Ah, so this one's a pretty simple one. My favorite color is blue. However, when it comes to specifying what type of blue or what specific shade, I, I, I normally I say sky blue, but it's starting to shift towards aquamarine, something like that. Or turquoise, something like turquoise, something like the ocean blue. I'm not sure what the exact name of the color is for ocean blue, but something along those lines. So it's sort of like a nice deep, but sort of light blue. What is my favorite drink? Hot tea. I absolutely love hot tea, both in the morning and at night, and during the day and all the time. But if it's not hot tea, I'll take some regular or hot water. Not a big fan of cold water unless it's a really hot day. Generally, I like hot drinks. I don't drink coffee though, and I don't drink soft drinks, which I guess is healthy for me. At the same time, I'm sure coffee would help me stay awake better, but I don't, I, it's sort of like a mentality I have. I don't want to have to take any of these caffeine, caffeinated drinks or drugs or anything like that to keep myself awake. I need to be able to do that myself and it's more healthy. What is your favorite food? Fettuccine Alfredo. Used to be mac and cheese, but it's been upgraded. Mac and cheese, level one crook. Fettuccine Alfredo, level 100, boss. Why, what, what am I doing? <laughs> what is your favorite holiday destination? Okay, so this would have to be pretty simple. I haven't traveled that much yet. Actually, scratch that, I've traveled more than I would say some people have, like a decent number of people have in my area. Because I've actually been out of my country before, but only to one, or only to two other countries. I've been to Thailand because my mom lives there, or my mom's family lives there, and I've been to Japan because many of my family's friends live there, and they gave us like a tour around so we weren't lost and stuff like that. And I would have to say out of those two, my favorite holiday destination is probably Japan right now. Because like this is no diss to Thailand, it's just really hot in Thailand. <laughs> That's sort of the thing with Thailand, it's just right on the equator, it's just really hot and humid there. But Japan sort of has a mix of cold areas and warm areas, and it varies depending on the season. And we got to see Mount Fuji and the cherry blossoms and all that type of stuff, and it was really nice there. Plus they have places like Akihabara, where they sell all these manga and anime and all this stuff. It's just a really nice place to go around. I'd recommend having someone there who can tour you around and teach you the ropes though, otherwise you're going to get lost, especially on the subway system. Oh boy, those trams, or those trains. You have to get some apps, like there are some apps that really help you out with that stuff. Anyway, favorite ice cream flavor? I don't eat ice cream. I know, blasphemy. But I love the cones. Give me some cones. Favorite music genre? This one is a little bit confusing because I like a lot of music genres. In fact, there's no music genre I actively hate. The ones I dislike are very few, which are basically heavy metal, rap and hip hop, and drum and bass and stuff like that. However, like, that doesn't mean I hate every song in these categories, like, I like a decent number of songs in even the categories I mostly dislike. I would say out of my, my favorite right now is probably house music or electronic music, I guess I could say. I like listening to things like No Copyright Sounds and Monster Cat and that type of stuff. Uh, Happy Hardcore is probably my favorite genre of, this, of the electronic music, because I like something that gets my blood pumping, gets me excited and happy. I also really like video game music, soundtracks, and... I like retro music and chip tunes and that type of stuff. What is your favorite physical activity? Soccer. Or also known as football, sorry. I know most people aren't from America, so football or soccer. Really great sport. I'm not that good at it. <laughs> I played it for many years as part of a local sort of team. It wasn't really a great team. However, 
as time went on, like I was pretty good at first when I was young, but as time went on, the people who were in the team who stayed with it started taking it more seriously, practicing every day, and they would get upset every time they lose and then blame it on people and stuff like that. And it wasn't as fun anymore because I used to play it just for fun, not for winning all the time, you know? So I slowly shifted away from it. I would like to play some more soccer again or football, but I'd have to find a team that plays for fun and not just for winning and takes everything seriously. And that's kind of hard to find, you know? What is your favorite snack? Uh, right now, spicy Cheetos. I don't know why, but something about those just is addicting as hell, man. <laughs> it's just so good. I just take a couple bites and I just, it's just, it's, it's un, it's unhealthy. It's very unhealthy. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I, I try not to buy it because it's like very un, very bad for you, but it's so delicious. Like you can't stop eating once you have it. Okay. Mm, favorite way to pass time. Of course, video games, watching anime are both up there. Favorite restaurant. Not quite sure right now. I would have to say, in terms of fast food, probably Chick-fil-A. I don't go to too many sit-down restaurants right now, so we have to see. What is your... What is your favorite social media channel? Ah, now that's a tough one. Uh, you guys should check out youtube.com slash graytail. Actually, that's not the URL. Don't I, have, I don't have a URL yet. I need 100 subscribers to get a custom one. Please don't take my URL, anyone. I need graytail, please. <laughs> But you should check it out. Did you know that there's 10 things you need to know about Hightail? Anyway. What was your favorite subject in high school? And I guess favorite subject in general. I'll talk about what I prefer in school. I've always enjoyed math. At least up until high school, I enjoyed math as my favorite subject. But in high school, it shifted. And my favorite subject became English. Which I know is pretty blasphemous for a lot of high schoolers. Because a lot of them hate English, you have to write all the time, make all these essays, and do all these papers, and it's all graded very arbitrarily, like the teacher has to like you or like your work and stuff like that to give it a good score. But my experience with English has always been really good. I've always gotten high scores, the teacher has always liked me, I've, they've always re been really impressed on my essays, and I've won awards for essays and stuff, I've written for competitions and everything. I've just been generally a pretty good writer, which I think stems from me being a good reader in the past. I used to read a lot of books, and that really helps you with writing fast and writing well. And then I moved to typing, and I could type fast and type well too. And I don't know, I always liked it. Right now, I would have to say health sciences. Since I'm going to pharmacy, I've taken only a couple classes in the field, such as anatomy, and I loved it. It was probably my favorite class I've ever taken so far, and the hardest class I've ever taken so far. Which is probably a good sign if I can enjoy a hard class in my field, so... I'm going to continue to pursue that because it's really interesting to me to learn how the body works and how it heals and how disease is affected and all that type of stuff. What was your favorite TV show as a child? Probably Spongebob Squarepants. I know very generic, but actually, actually... No, 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 no. Spongebob Squarepants was my favorite comedy as a kid. I'm not sure what would be considered my number one, but my favorite story-driven was definitely Avatar The Last Airbender. I also like Teen Titans Go, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Fairly Odd Parents, and I also like Samurai Jack. These are just a couple shows that I really liked as a kid. I'm not sure what my favorite is, but I'm gonna go ahead and say Spongebob, yeah, because that's the one I watched the most of as a kid, and it's the one I have most fond memories of and remember all the memes and stuff like that. Are you scared of heights? Now that's, that's quite a question. Yes. Wait. No, I'm not scared of heights, I'm scared of falling from heights. There's a difference, I swear. <laughs> to be honest, this this seems weird because I love climbing things. Like, I'm, they call me a little monkey, my parents do, and my brother. I used to climb trees all the time. Heck, I actually climbed a giant tree today. Not Definitely not because I got a drone stuck in it and had to get it down. And still failed to get it down and it's still stuck up there right now. Anyway, I climbed really high up in the tree and then came back down. And it was really nice. And I like climbing walls, those climbing walls and all that type of thing. However, when I stand on, like... A rickety bridge above like a really high area or on the edge of a cliff and stuff like that like it frightens me like i look down and i'm just really scared and i know that if i'm as long as i'm careful i'm not gonna fall but if i do fall then that's that, that that's a problem <laughs> so i guess it's good to be a little bit scared that way you're more careful though 
How far have I gone? 20 minutes. I think this is a good place to end. And this is actually a pretty good list of get to know you questions. So I might do this type of thing some more sometime and see how it goes, you know. There's some good, more good questions in here. I've only gone through like 60 and I've only done a couple of them within this 60. So there's way more questions in this 371. Hopefully you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about me and where my parents are from and my school I go to and all that type of stuff, how old I am and everything. I'm working hard to do this YouTube channel while doing college at the same time while pursuing pharmacy, which is starting, well, my pharmacy school is starting this fall. This semester of college shouldn't be that bad, so I'm, I'm hoping to focus really hard this semester and the summer, especially when Hytale comes out, because I'm going to put a high focus on that because I know that that's a game that people are really interested in, and it's a game that I know I'll love, so I want to do that. But I'll see how things go once I get into pharmacy school, and if I'll have enough time to continue doing YouTube. I, I would love to, I love doing it, but that if I ever have some lapses in videos, just know that it's because of school, it's because of pharmacy, it's because of classes and homework, and not, not something that I can really control. Anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all on the next adventure.